Hello everyone, this is part 10 of the Zwim tutorial. Now we have seen our subcatchment. All the subcatchment have received their information, but we need to add information to the junction and to the pipe. Junctions and pipe are easier to deal with. Let's start with the junction. Just click twice on the first junction automatically the name is going to be displayed don't take care about the coordinates it's not georeferenced anyway description is optional you can add whatever you want as usually tag as well is optional here in flow you can choose between yes or no and this is the case if you have some sewage that enters into the pipe in this case we are not considering sewage we are not considering pattern therefore we say no but if you deal with the combined drainage system you need as well to consider the sewage as well here treatment there is no treatment we are not going to consider the pool one we are not going to consider the environment in this case invert elevation the invert elevation is the lowest point of the inside diameter max depth we check with F1 the maximum depth at the junction if zero then the distance from the invert to the top of the highest connection link will be used so keep zero and then here the initial depth is the amount of water that you consider at the beginning of the simulation we also can keep zero the surcharge depth and the ponded area I keep it at zero but uh, you can eventually uh, put a different number on that we start with the invert depth the rest we can keep it like it is and uh, we can for the time being use the ground elevation and we assume that our drainage is going to be one meter below the ground I open the excel file I start with junction 1 my invert elevation would be junction 1 328 minus 1 meter I will write 327.8 and I will do the same exercise with all the other junction note that I have added a new junction junction 5 and I have linked the conduit from junction 3 to junction 5 this is in order to be sure that, that the water from subcatchment 3 goes to junction 3 and water from subcatchment 1 goes to uh, conduit 1s. The elevation of junction 5 is the same as the elevation of junction 1. Now it's time to put the information for the pipe. Let's start with conduit number 1. We click twice the dialog appears we have the name automatically generated the inlet node junction 1 and the outlet node junction 2 this is as well automatically generated the description and tag as usually here you can choose the type of the pipe that you would like to consider you can have closed circular pipe open pipe whatever here on the picture you can see all the type of pipe that you would like to consider let's assume that we are going to work with a rectangular drainage system which is the easiest one to build we have to give the information of that we click on help and here we have all the explanation about that the number of barrels are actually the number of pipe that you plan to put in parallel usually we work with only one the maximum height of the Side and we can put one meter because we assume that the drain could be one meter deep. The bottom width we can put 50 centimeter. You could eventually as well have a irregular form. In that case, you need to explain how irregular it is, and you should give probably a cross section. The max step is one meter. The length is taken from the excel file conduit once has the length of 301.6 this is the parameter for the friction loss we can click on the value for open channels and we can take the parameter from this table 
let's assume we work with concrete channel between 0.011 and 0.2 so let's say 0.015 in let offset you can see on the drawing what does it mean we can put 10 centimeter outlet offset it is the same we put 10 centimeter initial flow zero maximum flow is not applicable the entry loss coefficient we keep it zero and exit loss coefficient as well we keep it zero average loss coefficient we keep it zero flap gate we say no and culvert code we don't consider as well and you do it for all the conduits at this point i have added all the invert elevation of each junction and the information at each pipe but before running the analysis we have to fill the information at the rain gauge and this is part of tutorial 11